Yo everybody, how is it going? Today we're gonna do more to me Hollow Bossy and yes, dude, it feels so good for, you know, finally fucking day to be over. I had a pretty shit day today. So yeah, it's just gonna be really nice to play a lot of story. I hope to get through, you know, a nice and big chapter. And I really hope that today we're gonna learn about like, you know, this new Lina character. That's going to be so interesting to see what's actually going to happen. And, oh god. I'm also very interested to see what's actually going to happen with the whole punishment game related thing. Because we didn't see, like, the actual outcomes of that dessert eating contest. Okay, my predictions are, I think, Katie lost. Kamada won, obviously. Obviously. And probably Dan or Kamada. Obviously, then I lost. But, like, yeah. I think, um, I think those two are the most likely. Katie's just, like, actually fucked. Genuinely. No, Idia could exist as well. I think Idia and um, um, Kamada, it could be could be a close match. But I think I have a feeling that Kamada's probably going to win because... No, no, I'm I'm not thinking objectively. Because the thing is about Idia, he actually ordered hot tea so we can just get the ice cream to melt in his mouth. He get, if he gets anything with ice cream, then if he gets a lot of ice cream related things, he's definitely going to... He's, he's not going to... He may not win, but he's definitely going to have a good chance of it, you know? Right, um, is this my save? Yes, okay, here we go. Right, I can't wait to this, um, to actually begin this, so here we go. Oh, God. I hate my mouse cables, it's so annoying. My desk is so small, so it's really hard to actually, like, organize my whole sort of setup. It's gonna be easier when I actually get, like, a PC tower that I'm sort of saving up for, because then I won't have the sort of laptop keyboard to also, like, just get into consideration right anyway <laughs> i don't want to see any i don't want to see any sweets for at least three days holy shit <laughs> oh my god wow somebody has ate a little bit too much sugar i think <coughs> oh, you tried a little too hard <laughs> for real and then i ate a massive amount of desserts too but her stomach seemed to be just fine there's such a thing as eating too much sugar in your life before so you develop an immunity to eating a lot of sugar in the future oh my god that that probably means katie lost i don't know wait hang on i'm being stupid just because um um of you know, I'm just feeling really sick. <laughs> Bam! Ow! Sapko, I put me very hard on my place. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, that must be the worst though. That is like the worst place to- Oh god. I mean, I don't know. Because you really feel, wouldn't it be less, less bad though? I don't know. I don't know. I can't really think. I've never really had that happen to me, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They're probably gonna do it even more now. Satoko and Mikasa grinned mischievously upon her and that. Oh yeah, I just I just saw something like, oh my god, you see Satoko and Lika in like actual normal clothes. That is so That's like nice to see because I don't want to see these people being in like fucking harem. Holy shit! It's just good that it's normal, and it's probably good for them as well because holy shit, that must have been so embarrassing. <laughs> I chilled out my spine. <laughs> oh god. Why are they smiling like that and walking towards me so gleefully? <gasps> oh no, no, stop it, you cold blooded demons! You really think I'd let it slip away? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. It actually probably is though, because like these people, they never eat a ton for lunch. Because I suppose, I suppose in Japan it's like really normal to just eat so, so lightly. And so I suppose. Meep. 
<laughs> yeah, <but> no, <laughs> Bro, for real. That is... That's the best reaction right there. Oh my god, then are you fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this is just weird. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kind of I'm just kind of finding it hard to comprehend how weird this is because of how much sus stuff we've just seen in this visual novel alone. <laughs> but holy shit. This is so <laughs> He must be getting the fright of his life, especially if somebody saw him like because this is in public, I'd assume. Oh no, now Nadra has other goal and he goes on and torturing me. We were still making a lot of noise outside the restaurant. I just really blocked my stomach from their attacks, but somebody else hit me from far behind. Me on bet. Ow. <laughs> Who is it? Hello. Oh god. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> oh my god, Sion out of all the people. Where the fuck was she? She missed out on, like, maybe the best and most funny thing she could have possibly seen for years. How? And why? <laughs> oh, oh, she's she's a... a... oh, so I actually know she's Xion. こんにちは。こんにちは。<笑><笑> That was a joke. <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, God. oh God. God. Damn it, I was just getting over it. So you just reminded me that I'd never be able to get mad. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to imagine what that was. Holy shit. <laughs> I hope you like, anyway, I heard you went crazy in the restaurant today. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah,でんないとんでもないことになってましたか。お姉も責任を感じたようで、みんなにマジって掃除をやってます。ごす。ハブでメイクアップビッグメス。でいえ、イズプロリデザートコンテストジェスプロリデスセッドライクファックユー
in hope that they won't do it. <laughs> yeah. ケイちゃんも日進月歩少しは成長するんですねねえ。ですわよ。ピパ。なんだよ。こういう時だけ女とも約束しやがって。Oh, that's actually really funny, like, so, because, because, I don't know, Gatey's just grown maturity in the club. He's a man now, obviously. <laughs> I got they got along so easily just because that girl. In the end, we ended up making a lot more noise, even dragging Sion into the mess this time. <laughs> She's completely slacking on her job, isn't she? Where did you put the wash clothes? Oh no, Yeah, yeah, you slacker. Bruh. What? What are you still here? <laughs> old man. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going on home already. Oh. Because he really, she really wants everybody. Well, she doesn't really want to, but she's really enthusiastic that everyone just goes. <laughs> Sus. She always did the opposite of what she thinks. Oh, all oh, right. <laughs> Us. Yeah. I swear that makes sense. I wonder why she would go up to be able to just honestly say thank you. I don't really see why they can't, but I suppose they're not really workers there, but Neon's not a worker. She's a customer, to be fair. I mean, I get that she has ties with the family that, op that operates it. Well, I suppose she's a VIP then, because of the ties. Who knows? That's right. 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 Oh. <laughs> Just literally all of that that Katie was thinking disproved. <laughs> Well, he actually, they actually probably shouldn't wait for her. <laughs> I do wonder if, like, um, I mean, this is obviously not the same plot as Watson Nagasi, but, like, I do wonder if, um, no, not Watson Nagasi, Miyakasi. But it would be very interesting if this was the same plot, because I wonder which event in Miyakasi this would be. And before it's just a dull event. <laughs> because I don't know, it could be very possible because, you know, emotions, they really are deceiving here. What one person sees is what another person acts, really. あら、なんだか悪いですわね。うん、なんか悪い気がする。人は大勢いるから大丈夫だよ。風が冷たくなる前にみんな日の水わかりましたのです。We understand. ありがとね。ありがとね。じゃあ、ケイちゃん、お嬢様方のエスコートをよろしく。そう、そう。途中で資格に襲われないようにしっかりと応援するんだよ。アサシンズ。What? You have a very concerning. I don't know, friend of m
Nah. <laughs> Looking around, I didn't see any ladies who needed an escort. I felt more like I was the one who needed protection. <laughs> Fair. Anyway, was that a good night? It's easy for us to end the day and go home. Alright, let's go then. So where is that meal and Tozi went back inside the restaurant and after that we all went online to see some Netflix and now. Bro, is that really Okay good. I thought that was gonna be the half of the chapter for a second. You know, like the part where the black bar comes. I was just gonna be really confused, like would have been a little bit too short. <laughs> On the way home we talked about Interesting, I've never heard this soundtrack before. On the way on the way home we talked about how exciting it, it had been today and how it how it looked like everybody was still fired up. Oh that's nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the horrifying the horrifying punishment and the competitive eating gone says. I'm kinda of disappointed that there was nothing mentioned about like the whole um eating contest. Oh wait wait. Oh, oh they are gonna mention about it here. We had the horrifying punishment and the competitive eating contest, which turned into an unprecedented battle involving all the customers in the restaurant. And after that everything got crazy and messy. Holy shit, what happened? Oh my god, if there was a food fight. Ha <laughs> Oh that would have been so fun. I love food. I so want to do a food fight one day, but like, obviously. Obviously, it's really just wasteful and unsustainable, so, yeah. It's going to be very hard to convince anybody to let me go there. Let's just say that. I mean, it is one of those things, like, it's really wasteful and just... It is kind of sad in a way, but like, it's really fun at the same time. So you sort of... You really don't have... You really do have, like, a dilemma. We should actually do. At first, the waiters didn't know what to do, but after a while, they ended up joining in. Are we out of blocks? Oh my god, wow. <laughs> that sounds so fun. That was wonderful. Oh god, I don't even want to imagine at this point. Didn't you think my speech was great? My speech? Oh, he probably did what he did in Tatari Odyssey. Like, he completely lost, but he used words to sort of completely turn himself around. Oh my god. <laughs> ケイチは生まれる時代と国が違ったら、ロスルタとんでもない人になってたかもなのです。ああ、ハウエシュレン。こんな口先男ですか。生まれても無風な人間にはならないと思いますでございますかね。生まれても無風な人間にはならないと思
I looked like Daniel to see. Oh. There she is. However, I was wrong. Oh, interesting. Oh, why she's quiet. I was probably like, Lena. You remember when she saw her? Because I remember her saying about like, she had to prepare. Or something like that. So it probably couldn't be the best. She had to prepare. Um... Like, because if you ever see somebody, like, you just casually really like, you're not going to prepare to sort of emotionally for when you see them. Like, you're just going to be natural. So it is kind of interesting, that. Um, then I was, I don't really know how to describe it. She looked very satisfied. Oh, yeah, she's probably, yeah, she's, she's even more happy about the whole, um, sort of, I don't know, just feeling that the day she's currently living are so much more happy than, I don't know, whatever happened before. She looked like she really did have that much fun. She looked like she was as happy as she ever could be. Yeah, yeah. I could tell all that without her, her saying a word. When I looked at her, it made me realise that the word fun wasn't enough to describe what we did today. Oh, my God. If I was in that situation, then, fucking hell, I, I would... I don't know, I mean, I mean, I don't know, I, I, I definitely would, yeah. What about you, Kitsuke? I was too, I was too, I was too, I was too, for real, the fun never stops, eh? <laughs> Wow. But she was the one at the same time who ditched the dessert contest. That was like the best opportunity you could possibly get. <laughs> I might have been, I might have been a little tactless, but suddenly I regretted having said it. Yeah. I do, I totally do. But you know something? Today's not the only day you're still happy. Hmm, true. I mean, I don't know if I can relate that to my only life. Probably the only thing that's really good about my life at the moment is just like, visual novel that's... That's the only thing I really, really enjoy at the moment. I mean, I do sort of enjoy the... Hobbies I'm doing at the moment, but they, they aren't really as fun as they used to be. It's still pretty fun though. This is easily like the best thing about my life, just playing this visual novel. At the moment at least. Cool wind blew through her hair. She smiled at me. Suddenly, she looked very mature. Her appearance made my heart skip, skip a beat. Oh. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine because, like, I've never really, I don't know, I've never really had this much fun with other people. But it is just really interesting to think, like, um. I'd definitely be feeling that if I was in her case. Really. Activities get cancelled. For, for real, she really does. I mean, yeah, do keep in mind that, like, isn't Dena like 13, 14? Like, God, it's really, really mature for her age. I'm 
gonna have laughed and that made me laugh too. I thought it wasn't really laughing because we said bad things about her and started bugging me about it. But once again, we made a lot of noise like we always do. Well, I thought that was a good thing. Oh, I thought These people were about to get high, what the fuck? <laughs> do not smoke. Do not smoke. Too dark to sleep. Is that is that even possible? <laughs> Anything. I don't know about you guys, when it, but whenever you want to sleep, like you do not. I could not sleep without a light without with a light in the room at all. How do they do it? How do they want to do it as well? That's my question. Oh, so Makino-san has like a light and sort of hardware store. That's actually really cool. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they sell something like that in a village as small as Yama's art, but yeah, this village is full of surprises, I suppose. You have to go a long way around. Yeah, kind of that. <laughs> General store. Oh, right, that's what it is. If they wanted to make a stop at the store before going back to the shrine, turning here would be the quickest way. Bye bye. 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 Bye it went especially quiet all of a sudden. Oh, I wonder what they're going to do, like Katie and Dinner. I wonder if they're going to go to the junk site. That'd be really funny if they do. <laughs> All noise gone. I can see my house by now, which everybody calls the Mayabara Mansion. I love that. <laughs> I didn't know this earlier because of how fired up we all were, but my stomach was about to burst. <laughs> how can you not notice that? Like, seriously. That would just be like one of the, the one thing I would notice if I was in a situation like that. <laughs> the oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody must have been paying the price for me acting like an idiot earlier. <laughs> well, it's all worth it for the fun. <laughs> that, like thunder, I love that. There's no way I was eating dinner that night. I think if he ate dinner, that would be worse than torture. I needed to tell my mum before she started cooking. Oh yeah, but before anything, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, my son was churning. Oh boy, it really didn't sound good. <laughs> oh god, we got to the place where I'd always meet dinner in the morning and say goodbye, and say goodbye in the evening. Mm. 
ケイチ君もまだまだお腹の鍛え方が足りないかなかな I mean, I don't know, the thing is about it's actually possible to train your stomach for things because I know you can definitely do, definitely, for example, just train your I don't know, like I don't know, for example, train your spice, and, your spice tolerance like, the more spicy food you eat and sort of the more you work up as well, you can't just like go go to the deep end, you have to sort of work up to actually get there the less sort of the less sort of painful spice feels I wonder if it could be the same with um uh stomach's really I suppose Lena that the old to one other time to have not eat a son of a so quick I don't know what you are going to go for real Something gives me the feeling that she has not done what she said with she had done with her dessert. <laughs> no, because in theory, if you if you had a dessert contest, if you somehow use your arms correctly, I'm sure you could just like, for example, you could just hide. I don't know. You could like hide the dessert on your seat or something like that. But I don't know. It'd be really hard for people not to notice, especially because everybody's watching as well. But if all the customers joined in and they did actually have like a crazy food fight or just it went crazy then I have a feeling it'd either be more easy or it'd just be a lot harder. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be a secret. I'm like even trying to avoid giving me an answer. She probably hit me if I pressed her about it. Katie, it's... It's basically eat nothing in the day, completely stuff yourself for dinner, boom. <laughs> That's probably it. Probably gonna be aggressive about it. If she punched me in the stomach, I'm proud for sure. So I decided not to go any further. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. See you tomorrow. I used to live in the city. Yeah. I never managed to live in the city. I used to live in the city. Yeah. I think I'm proud. Wow. Uh, the only thing is that's kind of sad about that. We all know happiness is temporary, but still, he got he needs to make the most of it as much as possible. It's interesting that um, at the moment she hasn't actually mentioned about her um, real, real childhood, like when she was really, really young, sort of just growing up the first steps of her life really in Namazawa. It's interesting that she doesn't mention that here. I do wonder if she actually enjoyed that part of her life. Who knows? So, I think it's going to be fun tomorrow. That's right. It's fun to be fun tomorrow. It's fun to be fun tomorrow. It's fun to be fun tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. I'm scared. Oh god, that is not, that is, that is like the worst thing you can say. But at the same time, he kind of, he kind of like, he kind of has reason to it, you know? <laughs> you, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I suppose. だから、いつ転んでもいいように思いっきり今を楽しむのが正解だと思うな。そうだな。今を精一杯楽しむのが正解だな。じゃあね、ケイチ君。おばさまとおじさまにもよろしくね。さて、レナはまだまだ遊び
<laughs> I wonder if Gacy's gonna join, um, but then off. God's sake, that must be really fun, just like, I mean, I guess it's completely disgusting and just really weird, but it must be a really fun thing to do, you know, the whole treasure hunting thing. Quite unquote treasure hunting, but like, still. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this. Any person that is logical, any any person that is just normal, would just see this and think, what the fuck? But then you just see people like Dinah that they're actually excited. <laughs> Why didn't you trust one that I haven't dug up yet? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no stopping her now. Oh. Well, I get a whatever pass for any Nandaga. Kumoga, Motakuna, take time. Then I'm all Kyoa, you must be stuck with Tahoga in the middle of summer. God. That's painful. When the star. <laughs> Enough that I didn't even feel like going with her or protesting. If I felt better, I would have done treasure hunting with her for sure. She didn't even want to go home yet because she didn't want the fun of the day to end. That's exactly how I felt too. Yeah, it is It is kind of a shame that like they have to go, you know. But yeah, if you feel sick, then it probably is the best call of action, you know. I got there. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. waved over and over as if he didn't want to say goodbye yet. <laughs> but after a while, he was gone. Well, I had to go too because I was going to go treasure hunting. I love you things. I had such a wonderful day today that I'm sure that I'm sure I'm going to get lucky at treasure hunting. Yeah, I suppose I definitely will find some wonderful treasures. It's going to be interesting to see what she's going to find. I pedal my bicycle with determination. I think a lot of this tree that led to the dam construction site. Oh. Interesting. So this is where the treasure hunt actually takes place at. Well, the treasure hunt site, you know, the dam construction site. <laughs> it might have been okay to go home just then. But I hesitated to go since I didn't want to be seen. What? Since she didn't want to be seen? Weird. I had so much fun today and I wanted to continue feel, feeling happy as long as I could. Yeah, I suppose. It was already getting late, but I felt like it was getting dark faster than usual. That feeling when the weather's literally against you. <laughs> well, not the weather, but like, just... Life. <laughs> just like Kitsukun said, the clouds in the, the sky were glowing darker. It might, it might start raining hard. But that doesn't mean I have to go home already. God. Look at her voice, it's just really different to normal. Weird. Stop it enough. 
You had so much fun today. You have to stay happy as long as you can. I'm happy. I enjoy every day. Come on, say it. Say the magic word. Huh. <laughs> oh god, let me imagine. Not dumb or anything. I might be able to enjoy every day even more if I were dumb. You probably would, yeah. Yeah, easily. I mean, it's just really interesting though. Like, she just doesn't. She's so sort of. Oh, it really just. It really just sort of poses the question of why is she holding on to this happiness so much? If like, even though she knows, like, if she sort of wants to preserve, you know, the happiness of the day, and wants to be outside, she's gonna. She's gonna probably get like completely rained on because of the storm. Like, oh, it's just. So she's just completely disregarding like sensible things just for happiness which i suppose that is really good but like still it's just kind of odd that like she wouldn't have wanted to go home by that because of that you know and also don't forget to mention that like um in rain and in a little pile of trash let's be real that's gonna stink <laughs> if so dumb is what i want to be no! Of course. <laughs> there, I said it. I'm sure I can find something cute. As long as I believe it's cute, anything can be that way. I suppose I should fill my heart with happy memories of today and yesterday. I should look forward to the happiness I'm going to receive tomorrow and the day after, too. Yeah. Oh, here we are. We're at the down construction site. How is the down construction site? A mountain of trash loom before me. <laughs> God. Wow. It must actually be really interesting, though. You can't lie. It'd be very risky, but at the same time, it would be interesting. See what you can actually find. Definitely be more interesting than life than the life I live. God. <laughs> I found my bicycle and walked down the mountain of trash and scrap. This place is my castle. It would be incredible if anybody else came to this mountain of trash. Yeah, oh, I suppose. I mean, I mean, Tometake, he actually came there, but I think that was just because he wanted to take photos of the whole, you know, wreck thanks to the dam. And just thanks to, like, companies dropping illegal, um, I don't know, just waste. Onto the site that they know isn't being used. God, could you imagine if that, like, actually happened in the real world, though? I mean, if, it, it definitely does, I'm sure, but, like, I could just not imagine that happening, like, near where I live, for example. Like, that would be so funny if it did, though. <laughs> It'd be really interesting. I've come here many times and I usually stay for a long while, but I've never seen anybody walk by. Oh. I suppose it's the village's blind spot. Yeah. God. I heard that many people came here all the time during the Dam Wars. Oh, but it was abandoned after that. And, oh no, this was, this was still a pile of trash, like, when the Dam was actually happening. But it's sort of got worse and worse recently because more companies have sort of seen that they can take the piss out of it, basically. <laughs> The villagers no longer need to come here, and some people even forgot about it entirely. God. I mean, I, I don't blame them, but like, at the same time, it's just it's just kind of hard to believe that like you're in a village, and then you just forget part of your village. God. I think that they dump the trash here at midnight, but I've never seen the truck actually dump the trash at least. Yeah, probably good for that. Or maybe some really just DGN hour time. Who knows? If they dumped new trash more often, it'd give much, be much more time to kill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But it looks like it's not going to happen for a while. I walked down the slope of the trash pile all the way down to the bottom and headed behind another pile. Oh. Damn. Nobody ever comes here. I've 
Some of Nanny Gun's names lived over a long while, but nobody has ever came to mess this up this mess up this way. Oh, then I'll just wait until somebody reports this, and I don't know, like the government and government and authorities sort of. Well, I mean, I don't know. I say that they probably would want to do stuff with the rubbish, but like, there's so many different types of rubbish, and so many rubbish. Um, there's so many just pieces of rubbish in general that, like, firstly, how would you get them sorted easily? And, like, secondly, it'd take probably too much time and money to actually do it, so I do wonder what they do to sort of, I don't know, do something about this sort of waste problem. Because I don't think they burn it. <laughs> they probably just wait for it to degrade at this point, I don't know. Even really gives me my school come here. Damn. Kind of surprising me that, like, Leon or Sion now is coming. Who believes the Leon with the manager of the construction site and the construction site is buried um, somewhere in the trash piles? And they also believe the whole place is haunted. God. <laughs> they tell me that the ghost with one arm was still wanders around there looking for his missing limb. A ghost. Hmm. <laughs> I somehow don't think that is true. I just have a feeling about that. Just a feeling. <laughs> Sadly, I haven't seen the ghost either. Right. Sadly, I haven't seen the ghost either. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd rather like to meet him. Yeah, it would be really interesting. You just see loads of these stories, and especially the stories of like sort of darker endings. You'd just be really interested in seeing like what would actually happen if that was reality. I kind of get what she's saying. I wouldn't mind helping him find his arm. I suppose, but somehow don't think you're going to be able to communicate even if you did see each other well they will be able to communicate but like it will just be painfully annoying <laughs> he's feeling lonely i wanted me to be my um conversation partner oh, i suppose that would be really interesting though there's a station wagon buried in the trash pile it doesn't have tires but other than that it still looks like a station wagon the station the station wagon is my secret hideout oh oh nice Buried in there, fucking hell. So, your secret hideout is literally buried in a place that's basically trash. I mean, I mean, I get that it's, it does sound like a whole really cool thing and everything, but like, can you imagine the amount of insects, rats, fucking disease? It's a hub for that, a place like that. It just really doesn't sound like something that would be, you know, safe, you know? <laughs> I really like, I really like that this whole hobby is, it's really, really weird, but at the same time it's really cool and it's really innocent as well. Unfortunately, the sliding door and the rear doors don't open, so whenever I wanted to get in, I have to either enter the car from the passenger seat or crawl into the back to get from, um, crawl into the back from there. Oh. <laughs> weird. Wow. Of course, I take off my shoes in the passenger seat. Did you take off your shoes? Holy shit. Disease, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. It's not like you're going to get anything like a rat. You're just going to get... I think you're going to get, like, really tiny insects at the very most. But, like, still, I would, I would not feel comfortable having no shoes if I knew potential insects could be there. Oh, wow. We actually get, like, a sort of photo here. When you look at it from the outside, it's just a dirty abandoned car. But on the inside, it's nice and clean because it, I had swept it out and decorated it a little. Ah, oh, right, that took me a long time. Yeah, the back seats are lying flat because I wanted to have as much space as possible. Oh yeah, I don't blame her. I found a mattress in the trash pile and put it into the space instead. Oh, that's really cool. I hope she doesn't sleep there. <laughs> I mean, that's just really interesting though. 
it must be so fun having a place like that now that I think about it. Because if you don't like something, or if you think something's shit, you can just go, like, rip it out of the car and then throw it anywhere into the, I don't know, pile of trash. Nobody will care. Nobody will notice. And you can just have so much freedom, really. And you can have so much freedom in terms of creativity, and I suppose. But I don't know, it's probably not the best thing. Probably not the most sustainable and healthy thing, you know? Well, it isn't really. For a good bit of dirty, so I bought a bed sheet from home and covered the mattress with it. Oh my god! <laughs> and then us parents, when they realise they have one less bed sheet, holy crap. <laughs> There's no way her parents know about this hobby. I'm sorry, but like, that they, they would stop it. I put my favorite cushions on top of my back. Turns out it's a perfect bed, but the mattress is from a literal junkyard. Everything apart from that is good. <laughs> I put cushions and stuffed animals everywhere. Of course. Of course, then I was like the type of person to just have a billion stuffed animals. That somehow really doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's not all. Look at this. Yeah, I have a bunch of sweets here too. Oh my god, I have a bag of fruit candy in four different colours and some cookies, but they're going bad. I have to throw them away. Yeah, I think you're I think you're gonna have a little bit of freedom in which where you can throw those cookies away just like anywhere in the trash. <laughs> god, that's that's kind of annoying. Oh cookies going off is the worst. Cookies are so nice. My bear shaped water bottle was empty. Oh. Bear shaped water bottle. Weird. When I came here to spend some time on Sundays, I usually bring this water bottle with some sweet and tea in it. Oh. God, so she actually spends time on Sundays. That's really interesting. I have a box of tissues, a flashlight, extra batteries, and other daily necessities in here. Damn. God, this is really just like one of those people. They're just preparing for any scenario. God. I also have a few books to read in order to kill some time while I'm at it. Yep, every scenario. <laughs> and I have this. What do you think this is? Look, ta-da. My hand is suddenly lit out thanks to the table lamp. Ah, that's really cool. There's an, electro there's, there's an electric outlet on the side of an old nearby construction office. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. But the only thing is, what if she, what if her hiding place was potentially traced? And that's also a question, like, what if people do actually do stuff about this waste, and then her hideout is just, like, entirely sort of demolished? Could you imagine how she'd feel? Because it could happen. What if they just dump a ton of other trash, and then all of the trash just unluckily gets on top of the thingy uh, wagon? That'd be really unlucky. I thought they got the power years ago, but to my surprise, I was wrong. Electricity was still be supplying, was still being supplied to the outlet. When I found tons of extension cords, I came up with the idea to connect them all and make the electricity come all the way to my hideout. Oh my god! Just for a fucking light. Jesus Christ. That's dedication, but that is so fucking bad for the environment. Holy shit. Now we're going to spend time here comfortably with some sweets, books, and lights. Yeah, I suppose. If I want to do, I may be able to spend a night here. Yes, you probably could. Just like <laughs> 24 hour. Fucking junkyard challenge. But I make out the cold since it gets very cold at night. Oh yeah, yeah. I suppose I suppose the summers in Japan are really, really bad, aren't they? So of course it would. Yeah. Having a golden summer, God, that sounds like hell. <laughs> oh god, just 
I'd, I'd be good at living the, at the desert, wouldn't I? <laughs> no, maybe it's because it would get very cold at night. Ah, see, this is a very nice Harry doll, isn't it? At first, I thought somebody would find it and mess with it. Yeah, but that hasn't happened so far. That's because nobody comes here, and everybody forgot about this place. Yeah, that's how this place began my perfect secret hideout. Fortunately, I ate some of their that I'm still full. <laughs> ah, of course she is. I could tell them that I was, I was playing with my friend at her house and ate dinner there. Oh, so then I was not going to have dinner as well. <laughs> she said she was copying the, the same food patterns as Katie. Obvious, obvious, like, suspicion. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna stay for a while. I'm gonna stay here for a while and relax. And I'm gonna treat myself. I love the water gun battle yesterday. Oh yeah, my heart had been pounding when I fought one on one with Gates Goon. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that must have been fun. It was my great fun at Angel Mort today. I never experienced such a crazy game with so many people in my life. No, I know. I was feeling I was still feeling the after effects, I was sure so and I was sure I'd have a dream about it tonight. God, wow. That was why I wanted to bask in this this happy finish. Yeah, I suppose. That's a really interesting metaphor just there. God, I mean, I mean, I suppose you just, you know, make the most of it. Definitely. Just have the nicest day possible. Don't do what I do. Have a really happy day and then just completely fucking ruin it. <laughs> That's why I'm going to treat myself in here. I should take off my shoes and stretch my toes. I should cherish the time where I can be myself. When I can be myself? What? Uh, uh, mm. What the fuck? It just sounded weird. As I took off my shoes, I felt so relaxed I didn't even want to put them on again. Because <laughs> if she's that relaxed, then she needs to be careful not to fall asleep here. God. I played all day today and I was very tired. I feel like I'm going to work. Oh. As it got dark and the lights of the... Um, table lamp became encouraging. Oh yeah, it really was getting dark faster than usual. All of a sudden, I heard the sound of raindrops hitting the roof of the car. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's gonna, you know, have the motivation to go back home at the moment. Oh god. Oh, that could be really bad. Could you imagine how much trouble she's gonna get in if she comes back, like, really late? Okay. The interval between drops got shorter and shorter. Oh no. Whoa. Fuck. When it began in the continuous sound, I began to hear thunder. Even though it was raining heavily, it remained very quiet inside of the car, making me feel like I was in a different world. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can probably just see it only from the windows. That is if the windows aren't completely overlooking trash. Oh, I mean, I suppose you can still see it if it's... I don't know if it's in some sort of stuff from sources. But, you know, it's probably unlikely. It's my castle, after all. I've heard a big, I've heard a big castle where I'm following my big blanket and hid under it. I'm here alone under the warm blanket of my scent. Even though nobody knew where I was at the moment, and I feel like I was left alone in the heavy rain. I still feel like you're doing a freezing outside for some reason. Oh. Oh, I suppose it's just because, you know, she's in her favourite place and just sort of the place she likes to be in the most. I, f I felt like this heavy one was keeping me and my enemies from my castle. I liked it that way. My enemies? She has enemies? Oh god, we got the full rain. <laughs> the place is full of small happiness. Mm, it's full of my favourite things. That's why I'm happy whenever I'm here. 
Yeah. What if I don't? What if I had another blanket over me? I thought it was warm so far we're in bed. God. I must be really relaxing. I mean, if thinking about Lenar's perspective, like, if you take it, if you take aside, like, the whole sort of dirt and unhygienic na nature of the place, like, it must be really interesting just, like, not only be in a car that you, that you don't even own. You have no idea who bought it, what the history behind it is. And then you're just in, like, a bloody junkyard. And you have a bloody mattress as well. Like, oh god, that must actually be really cool. <laughs> it must be definitely something that's really just an experience, you know. I listen to the soothing sounds of raindrops like setting the scrap iron in the trash heaps in the family. Make you feel sleepy. Of course, you probably shouldn't sleep. <laughs> this is gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> This is a castle of trash. This is a tra this trash came here because nobody wanted it. Yeah, this is where it lives. This is a country where unwanted refuse lives together. Hmm. I feel like I fit in here, but at the same time, I knew it was just a temporary place to me. I said somewhere I have to go back to. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting though because when she says, like, nobody wants, because, oh my god, everyone who wants Lena, this is kind of odd that, like, she uses this analogy, and then she just sort of completely contrasts it, saying, and contrasts it, saying, she fits in it. I shouldn't think about things like that. Whenever I realise I don't belong here, I remember that I'm in the middle of a very dirty pile of trash. <laughs> I should just doze off for a little bit longer. Thinking is poisonous, but for real. Oh my god, that's so relatable. I wanted to get myself out of that poison so that the kind and within me could stay pure. God. It's really awesome, sort of weird mind complex then, god. So. A little bit longer. Just a little bit longer and I close my eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> She's gonna be a little bit screwed when they cry. Kai. Kai. Chapter. Right, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a little break, you know. Oh, this is Denar's house. That's gonna be really interesting. Wow. We've never seen this before, like genuinely. It's really interesting, like, now I think, I think she's probably closing her eyes and then she's sort of just, you know, reminisce, reminisce, remin, reminisce, oh god, reminiscence, reminiscizing, is that actually, how hard is that to say, reminiscizing, reminiscizing, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but like, I am saying it right, of course I am, it sounds right, that's my logic. Right, I'm gonna just take a little break at the moment, you know. Oh, it's so relaxing reading stories like this. Oh, it's just really nice. I mean, the thing is, that I, the thing I really love about Hugo Darcy, it's like, it's so positive, but it's also, 
I think I think the things about the positivity is really nice. It's really sort of sweet. I think this it just genuinely. I mean, I get that it's weird because of the whole trashing, but it just genuinely puts a smile to your face, you know. And then obviously the horror as well. It's just a horror and the sadness. It's I wouldn't say it's necessarily happy. If it is happy, then you are weird. But um, yeah, this is really the opposite, and you sort of get interested because of that. And God, I love this series. Right, my mother was a very busy woman. The harder she worked, the more her work was valued, and she kept getting promoted. Oh, I always, I always see like these really old sort of employer um, people who have sort of you know gone through work for their entire lives they're just like what do you what do you get a re what you what do you get as a reward for doing lots of work and trying your best more work <laughs> the harder she worked the more her work was valued and she kept getting promoted ah oh, yeah she saw to go higher and higher she was always shining and she was my hero wow My mother started her career as a fashion designer at a small clothing factory in Oshinomiya. Huh. My father was a designer too. They met through their jobs and soon got married. Huh. Wow. Sure. Sounds really fun. I lived in a small apartment in Oshinomiya, but they moved to um, my grandma's house, our current house in Hiyamazawa, when she got pregnant with me. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, uh, uh, I suppose because like living, because you're probably going to need more for, you know, a child. It's actually kind of interesting. I just kind of really realised something that's really interesting. Like, why is everyone in the Higurashi sort of I don't know, like, Law, an only child, apart from, like, Neon and Seal. I actually just realised that. I mean, I don't know, that's really funny. I don't, I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of characters we don't really know the status of. Like, maybe EDF, for example. He can maybe have a brother. Who would I imagine that could have a brother the most? Oisi. I can imagine him being the brotherly type, definitely. Akazaka as well. Sort of sounds like it, you know? I don't know. We lived there until right before I went to elementary school. Now that I think about it, that was the happiest time of my life. Uh oh. I was happy every day and believed without a doubt that tomorrow would be the same. I was so happy that it took that I took it for granted it didn't even feel the happiness. Oh. God, I didn't even know that was possible. But at the same time, like, oh my god, she she kind of needs to remember. She's, like, literally a fucking kid. Are you going to understand emotions like that? Like you do now at the moment? <laughs> I really did feel happy every day. I was small at the time and didn't really understand what was going on. But, yeah, 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 exactly. But it seemed like the company my parents were working on for were having financial difficulties. Oh, so... So my mother and a few other young designers started talking about leaving the company and going independent. Ah. Oh. Ah, right, God. That's really tricky. So, like, the second um, she actually sort of, she actually came into the world and, like, obviously after a little bit of her life, like, they were really getting financial problems. That's really inconvenient, God. Hair has genuinely been so annoying right now. I don't know what it is. Like, seriously. What is it? It's just itching ever so slightly. It's really annoying. Right.
after many things happened and the situation grew complicated, they got an offer to work at a big design firm in Ibaraki and they took the offer. Oh. Wow, that's lucky. Holy shit. And that's where they moved. Coincidentally as well. Ibaraki Prefecture. At that time, I heard my mother say many different words like limited partnership and business alliance, but in short, what she wanted to do was move to, uh, move to Ibaraki. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny that she could just remember her saying difficult words. <laughs> My mother and her peers were hired because their talent and experience made them immediate assets to of any company. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. However, my father wasn't one of them. Oh, unfortunately, my father wasn't as talented as my mother was. Oh, so maybe the e that I can make my father had to give up being a fashion designer. Oh, shit. God, what did they do instead? My mother's new company had been a high, had high expectations of their talent and promised they were a responsible project. Yeah. She didn't waste, she didn't want to waste her growing talent and passion by living in a rural town in front of the valley. Yeah, as my mother convinced my father to quit his job and move to Ibaraki to support her and help her with her career. Oh, that's the worst. I mean, I mean, I suppose like, there's too many things to lose by not doing it, but like just abandoning the village you love, even though you know you won't be able to get a job. Oh, that must really be tough. Back then, moving meant I had to say goodbye to my close friends. Oh yeah, that must have been terrible. I wonder who her close friends actually were at that time. I didn't want to move and I kept crying about it. Oh. No, I, I really don't blame her. I've moved to Ibaraki and my mother, my mother was a big success. Oh, that's good. At least it was worth it, I suppose. Not only did she have great leadership skills, she was full of energy and I believe she made the best use of her talents to succeed. Oh, <laughs> you know what Katie was saying about the whole um, mother being very similar and reminiscent of Lena? Yeah, <laughs> I suppose they're both full of energy, definitely. I mean, God. genuinely don't know what happens it's kind of like whenever i'm breathing it's getting on my hair and then it's sort of irritating it it's really annoying she came home late every night and barely had any days off god well, i mean i suppose i suppose it's definitely worth the, for the money though holy shit When she had a big project, she often stayed entire nights at her office. Jesus. Wow. But when she came home, she always looked filled, fulfilled and wore a happy smile, but she never had one with her in her world. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's definitely because, like, you know, work achievement. She 
She was shining and I remember I always wanted to shine like her when I grew up. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. On the other, oh, on the other hand, my father wasn't doing so well. He couldn't find a job as a fashion designer, so he took a clerical job at a small company. But he kept changing positions. Oh, shit. He couldn't use the experience that he had cultivated, and it was very hard for him. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. But he was very understanding. He started to take care of things around the house for my mother. He got busy and busier. Having one project after another. Yeah, he cleaned the house, did the laundry, and came to my school events. Oh, that's nice. However, he couldn't cook. He couldn't cook. He did cook twice, but he always bought side dishes from a grocery store. Oh, I mean, that's probably why then I learned to cook. Interesting. But I wonder how she actually learned, because, like, to actually learn, she would definitely have to have a teacher. I mean, no internet back then, but books, maybe, to be fair. But I don't know, it's just kind of unlikely to me that a kid that young would sort of learn, be able and want to learn something that big and would secondly do it on her own as well. I wonder how she actually learned to cook. However, he couldn't cook. He did cook rice, but he always bought side dishes from the grocery store. We ate dinner without my mother more and more often. Oh. I guess she's busy again. Every time I've said that, he always told me my mother is working very hard. So let's support her with Ana. With Ana. Interesting. That's what he always told me. I decided to help my father with the cooking. I thought it was a good idea to learn how to cook since he wasn't good at it. <laughs> yeah, whenever my mother cooked, I helped her and tried to learn how to cook from her. Ah! Oh, wow, that's really nice. She apologised for not having enough time to cook for us, but she was happy that I was learning. Yeah. I think I wrote in my school yearbook that I wanted to be a clothing designer in the future, just like my mother. Oh, but apparently I lack my mother's exceptional sense of style. Nah. Even if you lack it, you can develop it. Don't let that discourage you. Strive towards your dreams. Okay, I'm just becoming so cheesy now. I should actually stop. <laughs> you should tell me it takes you something you're born with, not something you cultivate. That is so not true. <laughs> I memorized this guy should be a designer because of that. That was why I decided to reach her by getting better and better at things she wasn't good at instead of trying to be like her. But yeah, I suppose. to be good not only at cooking but also at doing things around the house such as cleaning doing the laundry and grocery shopping wow god this is really nice to me that then i can actually learn this because like it's just so impressive she's so young and yet she's learning this much wow i'm not even gonna compare myself to when I was a kid compared to how old then I was as a kid, holy shit. <laughs> I remember my father was really happy that I did all that for him because he wasn't good at it so yeah i suppose i mean it must be really really handy having like a daughter that's that good really because you can just have like all the work that you don't know how to do just done for you it must be amazing it does kind of surprise me that a lot of people like they go into the whole parents related things without sort of learning basic sort of skills really but yeah i don't know I mean, look at people like Pepe, for example. They're another example. They're the sort of type that wouldn't want to learn stuff. They just, they just, they just kind of feel that like they're too cool for it. They don't have enough. They don't have time for it. Like, not genuinely, like, just as an excuse, you know. But I'm just kind of surprised people like Renan Stad wouldn't, because it seems really nice.
He couldn't find a daughter and spent a lot of time at home, although he seemed to enjoy spending his time doing the housework with his daughter more than anything. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. I started to become better at medical filling in for my mother, and she started to get too busy to do any of the housework at all, and she moved on to a more responsible position at her job. Fucking hell. God, it, it is just really sad, this, though, like, because it must just be so awful, like, having a parent that you, you probably love and everything, but, like, you can't see them just because of how, you can't see them at all because of how, um, because of their job, and then just everything falls apart. But luckily, it hasn't in this case, but it very, it really did have the potential to. It really did. Like, could you imagine what would actually happen to Dinar, like, if she didn't know how to cook, for example? I mean, nothing would actually happen. It would be everything would be a lot more inconvenient, to be fair. But still, it'd just be so much harder. She took me out of many places to, to compensate for leaving me alone all the time. That's nice. She used to say, let's go eat something delicious without telling your father and took me out to a restaurant. <laughs> she took me to a high class restaurant with an amusement park. Wow. Okay, I am jealous now. Japan mu amusement parks with some like restaurants that are really, really budgeted. Holy shit, I can't imagine how nice they must be. Sometimes it was only me and my mother, sometimes it was with her friends from work. She took me to a beach barbecue one summer with those friends. Wow. I was introduced to her daughter and every one of them pampered me. I still remember there was this one guy who particularly doted on me. He was a good looking young man. I called him uncle once and he got mad at me. He was nicely tanned with dyed brown hair. This young man often came with us when we went out. Oh, well, my mother took me somewhere. She usually made several phone calls for her work during the day, and sometimes she took me out to a place where she would always, where she would probably also do her workout at the same time. God, it must just be. God, it must really have to be intense if you're doing that. Holy shit. God. I didn't feel awful when people from her work came with us. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I mean, I suppose it's just a really sort of normal thing, you know? I always prepared to be alone with her, so I was happy when we could do that. Yeah, I, who wouldn't have, to be fair? One day she took me to a very high-end part of town. Of course, she was always she would spoil me whenever we went out. She bought me things and let me eat wherever I wanted. Wow. But she especially spoiled me on that day. <laughs> she took me to many expensive-looking boutiques and accessory stores. Wow, she was about to buy me something, but I told her not to get it because it didn't look good on me. Without hesitation, she bought it anyway. Oh. <laughs> I remember there were so many zeros in the price tag. <laughs> oh, God. On that day, I realised my mother's design work had made her a very successful woman and she was earning a lot of money. Oh, my God, for real? She sounds really rich from this. From just what this is saying. God. We took a break in a ridiculously expensive looking restaurant that probably charged a thousand yen for a glass of orange juice. Jesus Christ, how much is a thousand yen? Does it say? 554 pounds. 
Holy fuck. That's too much. <laughs> Let's just say that. Jesus, dude. Malala clapped her hands and spoke to me with a smile on her face. Sia, Lena, would you like would you like to make me a dream come true? When I was in kindergarten, my teacher gave students the topics to draw a picture of. Oh, that was my dream, and I drew myself eating a mountain of fruit parfait all by myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, she's kind of she's kind of a dream to dream, you know, in the dessert contest. She probably has. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. That does sound really good though. But how do you eat a mountain of a dessert? Oh, weird. All Mother wanted to say was that she was going to make that dream come true for me. <laughs> it was another day. It wasn't my birthday or anything. But since my mother would always spoil me whenever we went out together, I didn't feel awkward about it at all and i accepted one of them with a happy smile well that might have just been the best or potentially worst decision of your life <laughs> because i mean i mean imagine if imagine if you had like a genuine mountain of dessert firstly where the fuck would you put it secondly how would you eat it without it being without it going off thirdly where would you store it fourthly what would actually happen if it went off what fucking smell would it make yeah, I somehow don't think it's the best idea. <laughs> there were five or six free parfaits in front of me. Oh my god, lucky. I remember it looked exactly like the world I drew, and I felt like I was floating in that dream world. It was too much for us to finish. Oh, lucky. But we dug our spoons into it as if we were playing in the mud, and we really enjoyed eating it together. Oh my god, they're, they're so lucky though. But like, the thing is, if you order too much, because you're at a restaurant, are you just not going to eat it all? Or are you going to, like, try your hardest to eat it all? Because that's what I always do. Like, you know, make the most of the occasion, you know? <laughs> it was my first time to experience getting full by eating any fruit buffets. And I remember I was very happy. I enjoyed tasting the happiness and chatting with my mother. Leina-chan, この間映画とお食事に行った時、一緒だった人のことを覚えてる? Hmm. Interesting. Where's gonna kill me? <laughs> oh, so that's the person he was talking about, like the tan dude with dark hair. That's really interesting. Like she still uses hal here. How? How does she still use hal? <laughs> I love that. That's interesting. I do actually wonder, she never said, where did she get that from? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hit me, holy shit. Uh, I, like I hate him. He's always teasing me. 
Every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama on the loft. I didn't know why she brought up the subject, but I didn't really pay attention to it because I was too young. Hmm. Now that I think about it, she was breaking the news. Oh no. Oh shh. God. I have a feeling. I have a worst case scenario put in my head that it could potentially be like an affair related subject. Oh god, I hope not. ねえ、ねえちゃんは、お母さんとお父さんとどっちが好き？ああ、ばっそ。なるほど。でも、ちゃんと見られるよ。お母さん。うん。俺の家でもバブルはあるけど、あと、ギブンヘアだアンドウィ
ต้องเกลียดเพื่อเอ่อนิวเฮาส์เฮ้อนิวเฮาส์มันเฮาส์ออนออนกรอฟิชตรงเล่นเต็มแล้วก็เฮาส์เวิร์ดสร้างเคยกระดามาเลยอัปเดตอีกเฮาส์เวิร์ดส์ only the best was strangers couldn't easily enter yeah yeah I suppose interesting Well, it was on the oh, well, Aki still could be like a stranger to her. I mean, I mean, he definitely is. So yeah, that's why I couldn't believe her. How could she let a stranger invade such a holy place so easily? I suppose. Why do you hate my father? I know my mother didn't. Mother, mother looked down and didn't answer. God, I ask her another question. Why can't you stay with my father? I think that was the hardest and most. Heartbreaking of all questions for my mother to answer. And your mother, she. Oh no. God. So not only do you, do you have sort of a, not only do you have sort of like a relationship where somebody you know you know you're never going to see him, but they're with another person. Oh my God, that's so awful. Do you have another one, man? Who was more attractive than my father? It was just. That and nothing more. Yeah. I knew more than anybody that it was my father's fault. Yeah, exactly. First of all, he decided to move from another world to support my mother as much as he could. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just such a shame that like this person is so faithful, is so nice, and yet this happens. Well, I mean, it's always there's like nice people in the world; they get the most shit. But like, God, you really never see it as much until you see things like this. God. For him, nothing good could have come, come from that. Yeah, actually, I think he had a very tough time since we moved to you, but like, oh, so he wanted to be a support and tried very hard to do that. Oh god, that's even worse. It's just, it just gets worse and worse. It's just one of those things. Like the more you think about it, the worse it gets, really. Yeah, I really wouldn't blame her. I told her I disagreed with everything, including the divorce. Yeah, good. I said it very loudly and made everybody in the store jump. Sure, continue your relationship with Uncle Archie's store, but don't divorce my father. Oh god, I sort of. It really does get worse and worse. I mean, how did I know? Oh god! At the same time, who's the one that who's the one that has to pay a shit ton of money if they divorce? Is it father or mother? I can't remember. But god, if it's father, then fuck, that's gonna make his life even harder. I feel bad for him. I feel terrible for him. He's been doing nothing but support me patiently this whole time. How could he do such a cruel thing to them? Yeah, I screamed as loud as I could. Then my mother answered, "It's too." <gasps> oh no! It's too late. Why? You haven't told my father about this, have you? It's not too late. Oka san ne, ninshin shite ru no. That 
really is sad. Feels so bad. I don't know why. I don't know why this is hitting so much on me. This is hitting more than some of the Mount Cassie stuff did. No, I, I think it's because I think it's because the more normal things are, the more they hit for me. But I don't know. I kind of want to just reread this. If you're wondering, I I like rereading stuff just because I want to sort of digest as much as the plot as I possibly can, you know, get as much in. Because I'd rather spend a long time on a chapter than really get a sort of summary of what's happening and just read more of it. Actually told him about the divorce in person. Oh god. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised with both outcomes, but I think I think it's more likely that she probably told her. I mean, she does sound like a loving enough mother. I, I don't think she'd have that little integrity. Middle aged woman who called herself a lawyer came to the house several times to talk to my father on my mother's behalf. She sometimes called him too. Ah, oh, oh right, yeah, that could be that could definitely be the whole divorce related thing. But I feel, I feel just so bad for him. I mean, he hasn't done anything. Nothing is wrong. But just because, I don't know, he's not good enough for her compared to this other better man, really. That's just so horrible. I mean, I mean, you would have thought if you ever meet somebody in a relate, if you ever meet, if you're in a relationship and you ever meet somebody else that you like just as much, why not treat them just as friends? I think it's just really fucked up that, like, not only are they not doing that, but he's actually letting it happen, the up in store guy. And my mother begged the lawyer to come speak directly to my mother many times, but it never happened. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, they thought that they thought that they had no clue when my mother told him she wanted a divorce. Oh. Well, again, I'm not even sure if she told him in person. Yeah, the lawyer told him not to meet my mother, not to call her at work, and many other things too. God, he's just dug it all off. He told me not to see my mother. Oh my god. Jesus. How horrible. She doesn't even get anything. She doesn't get any arguments, anything, for what she's done. She can just live a nice life. A better life, in fact. Where everybody else around her is literally just suffering. That is horrible. A selfish person, holy shit. He wanted to talk to her. He um he called some of their mutual friends, but he only found out the name of the guy she was having an affair with and nothing more. Wow. He asked me, Do you know the guy? I told him I do. I also told him that he was a funny guy and he had given me candy many times. I never forget how he looked when I told him the whole Hit me. Oh God! Hit me with the worst stuff. Hit me 
and so on, there's none creeps, they don't have to run away. Fucking hell. Then we fell on the wrong side, fuck, look. And then I started to cry for you. I didn't cry because you hit me. I was like, you don't because I was just always kind to you and that's how I liked them. When you talk to them out of courtesy. Now that wasn't it, girls had to be kind to white people at all. That's what I thought. People we used to be nice to, then enemies you shouldn't be nice to. Interesting. That's one way of viewing it, I suppose. My view on this is. I don't know, it's kind of. kind of difficult. The enemies are the ones who will probably destroy my life with their very existence. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this person literally has done it. Definitely. Whether they mean to harm me or not, doesn't matter. They're like weeds growing in a flower bed. <laughs> That's a really interesting analogy there. God. They kind of are, though. I mean, fucking hell. Is irrelevant, but we take all the nutrition from the tree that's from the soil. That's why we're able to live. Oh, didn't actually realize that. God. The land where I'm on is nothing wrong. But they're the enemy. Enemies are bad people. Yeah. That guy was a that guy was a bad person. I shouldn't have accepted him. Yeah, I mean I mean I guess you get the whole sort of at the first time you get sort of the whole decent act, you know, the sort of making friends act and everything, but no matter how much of a nice person he could have acted, there is no way that he could have been a sensible and good person and actually allowed this to happen. No fucking way. No way. I, I, I am fully with her. I sort of rejected him with everything I had. Yeah, but the only thing is she couldn't have possibly known. I mean, do keep in mind that she's firstly, like, a lot younger here, and secondly, like... She's not going to actually have thought about this before. No way. By doing so, I might have been able to disrupt their relationship. Oh, no, don't think that i mean it could be a theory but it's only a theory maybe it couldn't even be true in some cases who knows but also i might have been able to make my father feel like their relationship was not going to work oh yeah i suppose but to be fair we're going to be real here. I mean, do you really think that a mother who's literally having an affair with an other person, even though they have a kid? I get that they never see the kid, but like, still, that makes it even worse, actually. Do you really think that's going to be a good person for a mother? Anyway, it, it probably wouldn't be. My parents wouldn't have had to break up. We probably wouldn't have cried together, but we cried for different reasons. And that's why it's really happened so fast and it didn't make any sense to him. Yeah. I cried because I regretted that I let it happen when I had the chance to prevent it. Oh. My mother? 
My mother? What? My mother stroked my cheek and opened his mouth to apologize, but he couldn't speak and just cried with me. One day the boy let me see from my mother. Oh, interesting. I'm actually kind of surprised that's possible. My mother asked me to live with her, her house again. I didn't know what to say, so I just kept looking down and listening to her apologies. Oh. My father knew that I was going to see my mother on that day, so he handed me a letter to, and told me to give it to her. Oh, I didn't know what he wrote in that letter, but for some reason I was able to imagine the kind of things he wrote in... He wrote when I felt it through the envelope. Um, I believe the letter inside the envelope had a rough surface. Oh. Interesting. What does that mean? He must have been crying. Oh. He must have been crying when he wrote it. Okay, there's tears. I made the letter all wrinkled when it dried. took the letter from me and told me that she'd read it later and was about to put it in her bag. I stopped her and told her to read it. There. I wanted to see how she was going to take the last words that my father had left to her. Yeah. My mother didn't. She didn't read. Oh my god. That just really shows it. Mother didn't read it. She told me that she wanted to read it alone later when she put it in her bag. At that time. I realised. Oh, she probably realised, like, you know, the whole sort of... Oh, I don't know, just how little she feels and how little she cares as well. Holy fuck. No, it was more than that. I should say, I knew, because it was so obvious. I knew that my mother was lying. <gasps> she had no intention of reading my father's letter. Oh my god. She was going to throw it away like after I was gone, but she just lied because she wanted to see me have a nice person in front of me. Jesus. God, now I see why then I didn't want fucking... Yeah, remember the whole bike riding scene before Angel Mort shit, like, yesterday. Oh my god. If only we knew a story of this much was sort of the meaning behind it. Holy shit. God, I I don't know, I I, I find it so hard to believe that she would be doing this, but at the same time I really wouldn't find it that hard either. It could be potential. I just hope it's not. Holy shit. Slight curve in her eyebrows and her lips tell me that that more clearly that mother is not here. God. Well, I really hope that she could potentially be wrong. Holy shit. If she's not wrong, that's horrible. That is genuinely just disgusting. I mean, all of this is disgusting, but that is just... Oh, that's next level. Finally knew something else. The guy speaking of having an affair was, was with wasn't only the only bad person. I suppose it's her as well. My mother was also a bad person. Yeah. Is the, that moment the existence of my mother disappeared from my world like dry ice evaporating? God. Wow. So, I mean, I really don't blame her. It's just really interesting that like this has sort of made her seem dead to her then. 
I don't blame her though. I don't know. I can't really tell how I feel in this situation because I've never really had anything sort of similar to it. I really can't tell. I didn't have to hesitate about who delivers anymore. I don't I don't worry about you anymore. Oh yeah, good. Good for her, she decided. And I personally think she just she made the right decision as well. No Why am I sort of saying that with uncertainty? She definitely made the right decision. Hell yeah. I don't want to yeah. Oh god. At that moment, I hated my name for the first time in my life. I don't want to be called Those were my last words to my mother. No, the woman who used to be my mother. Yeah. Just never seeing each other again. I mean, she can't. She really deserves this. Oh, I mean, fucking hell. She really deserves it. The mother really deserved the rejection, but Rodena did not deserve the rejection she got. Holy shit. I mean, God. I think it's really good that, like, you know, then I actually had some heart, you know, sort of the manipulation that the mother was doing, you know, like with the whole sort of really expensive treating out stuff like that sort of just you know just like for example when she was actually breaking the news breaking the ice like um it was well when she was breaking the ice it was sort of done in a manner that would have sort of not so it would have sort of eased her into the situation you know like you know just made her sort of less oblivious and less sort of Aware of how bad it was, I suppose. I kind of got that impression at least. Because, yeah. Yeah. After that, I spent many days without feeding anything. I didn't know if the days were long or short. I didn't know which season I was living in. Shit. Yeah. I wonder what. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. I wonder what her um, dad was actually thinking at this time. There was supposed to be nothing out of the ordinary, but. Not having my mother around. Yeah, but every time my father saw things, it reminded him of her. Like her toothbrush and her teacup. All her favourite books. The sheep tears which never fresh granted. Oh, I don't... I don't blame her. God, that must be hard. That's why I decided to completely remove her from everything in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Fluffy threw her things into a black trash bag. I decided I started to do so frantically. Yeah. By the time I knocked down her wardrobe, threw her music box hard on the floor and broke her mirror, my mother was already not work working properly. Oh shit. God. She really went she knocked down her wardrobe. Fuck hell, I didn't even know that was possible. God. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, she's never gonna come back. So, yeah. It wasn't working properly. God, when I try to remember what happened after that, I feel disorientated. Oh God. I was because the pills the doctor gave me back then made me feel disorientated and lethargic every time I took them. The fuck? Seems like the dullness hit me especially hard since every time I try to remember that time it makes me feel disoriented and lethargic just like the pills made me feel that's weird oh my god if she was misdiagnosed with something that's 
it's even worse. But like, I don't know, just like, just spending days without feeding everything and like obviously not knowing if days long or short and everything. Why would you need pills for that? God, I mean this must have really affected him. destroyed everything that's my mama mother. The only thing I wanted to destroy most might have been myself. Oh my god. Even though I got over all her problems away, I still couldn't feel I still couldn't stop feeling regret and I decided to blame myself for my mother. is just like the worst pathway to go down you know blaming yourself for catastrophes like this really maybe i was thinking that i wanted to um damage her every day Maybe I was thinking that I wanted to do damage to her reputation and my success and successful life by destroying her daughter, destroying myself. I suppose, but like, oh my god, there is so much more to that than what you were thinking about. When I was about to reach that very last resolution. Oh no. Oh yeah, so that's how my game to me. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. I completely forgot about this side of the story because, yeah, you do remember this. You always remember the whole really weird things that she was been saying. She was actually saying about like Oyasodos and that, and like the reasons why she moved from Iba I Ibaraki to Hima 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 Hima. Was because of this curse. But as it was a curse from the Yugo family because he broke his rule and abandoned his own son. Well, that's a very weird way of thinking about it, but I suppose you could think of it like that. I don't know. If you just like literally reject every sort of piece of reality. <laughs> started to make sense to me. All the crazy things that happened after my mother was gone. Because of the other things I did all of that to us. It was the other things I was supposed to be telling us to come back to you know as all. God. That's just really weird. It's just really weird that like she believes that this is all thanks to Oriasta or something. I mean, holy fucking shit. How much of a fucked up god must you be to like not only completely ruin somebody's well two people's lives just because they're not returning to a place. Oh my god, it can't be a curse, but at the same time, it is kind of weird that, like, I mean, she probably heard about stories about, um, I guess I got some other related stuff when she was in here, was all, but, like, it's just odd that, like, it only happens now, once sort of all the tragedy has sort of happened at its worst, really. I mean, it's obviously still going to be happening, but, like, not at its complete worst. Was the other person was also telling us to come back to the Amazon. That's right. You should have said to the Amazon. 
everything went crazy because we knew. And as it affected me, I was like, yeah, it's like being surrounded it again. And a dull pain ran through my head. God, I can't believe that. I mean, I do kind of get the feeling as well, like, I, I definitely feel pain if I, I don't know, think about a lot of my sort of, my sort of past life, just because I, I just really feel so much disgust upon myself, really. And my, I don't know, there are quite a few memories I really hate of my childhood that sort of just do, and I think especially in like, my most recent years, like for example, like, oh my god, my memories of year 9, if I think about that year, or if I think about like, the end of 2022, holy shit, I just feel pain. But I never feel disoriented, that must be so awful. Just like, the worst memories can make you feel like that, and a dull pain ran through my head. Oh god, and that's probably like, all the happiness she was just thinking, completely gone. Very interesting that this Oyasadozama thing happens. I mean, what is it about Oyasadozama came to me? I mean, it's a little bit vague. I do wonder if there's there's definitely more to it, of course. Maybe if I'm screaming within me, telling me not to push myself too hard or remember any further. Right. this oh this is the Gyogyo house i suppose interesting god it looks really nice it looks very very old school i really love that sort of um i don't know just like all the sort of pipe work and construction you can actually see on the house that's really cool the house where we used to live in the amazon was still there my grandma already passed away oh man awesome rip yeah Oh, the pass away in the house was the only property she left to us. Ah, oh, that is... Wait, hang on, so... Was the house they were living in Hinawazawa in before different to this one? It can't have been. What? Oh, well, we used to live in Hinawazawa. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, I've been very... I've been very good at reading this at the moment. <laughs> yeah... I remember that I used to live in Hinawazawa, but I... All I remember was it was the village that I used to live in until right before I went to the elementary school. Yeah. I remember the house for the village too, but that was all I remembered. Oh, I forgot the streets and even the names of close friends I used to play with. I never knew that it was one of the deceased women was, had come back divorced. I was a deceased woman. Sakoshi? But I didn't know us and we didn't know them. Son of a deceased woman that came back. Divorce. What? Oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kinda got that confused because I was thinking I was thinking when it said deceased woman it could have meant like Hojo. But yeah. Because it it could actually fit, but because it could it could be if you if these are the hordules then it could be like the neighbors let's just say the neighbor knew the the son of the deceased woman Tamai or Satoshi's parents which is Satoshi in this case had come back but then divorced obviously that just kind of throws the scent off entirely because I didn't know I didn't even know them yeah interesting. However, as far as I was concerned, it was still my home when I come back to. Yeah. First, everything was in the beginning of the day, but I can eat that lucky. And it was hard for both of us to adjust. But we renovated the old house and it was only me and my father. Yeah. Life here seemed to make my father forget his pain from the divorce. 
Yeah, I suppose, because, I mean, the thing is about the house in Ibaraki, I mean, it's just exactly the same as sort of where things not only started to sort of plummet badly, but they also, um, they also just really sort of, just failed, really. This is where, I don't know, the good times were. And definitely where the good times continue. Because, I mean, look at how much fun they outside. I love it. Fujian was very kind to me and I started to get used to my new life too. I did everything around the house and we gradually went back to the time when we used to live happily. Anybody can live a happy life. Yeah, I suppose. Born to be unhappy, but I believe that's just an excuse to do anything you want to try. That is interesting that they say that, but when when we say people that are born unhappy, I think I genuinely think there are some situations that are just impossible to be happy in. I mean, let's say for example, I don't know, you're really really unlucky. You're born into really really bad poverty. How can you be happy in a situation like that? I don't really agree with that. Like when I say really really bad poverty, I mean like countries that are so bad that, for example, let's say, I mean, I get that you can't really understand emotions when you're this young, but like, fucking hell, it's life or death, of course you probably have something, but, yeah, like, let's say if you're in, like, a country where infant mortality rate isn't even over fucking five, I just can't believe, I'm not even gonna go into stuff like that, because it's a whole other discussion, and I'll probably go on forever if I start. I have a lot of strong feelings about like just how awful shit like that is and I hope everyone does really. If you don't then you know, no, some people just aren't passionate about it I suppose. But I suppose that could be true. I don't know. I won't give in to fate. I will never give up trying to recapture the happy times I lost. I'm gonna become happy to the point where I don't even feel the happiness anymore. Oh, good for her. I think, I think it's really nice that she's trying to learn from this because, I mean, it must be so hard having to cope with like, all of that stuff, but no. And especially the whole memory-related thing. It was very interesting in the memory-related thing. Do you remember when um, Nina said that she actually, like, there was a story about the school that... No, because not everything was mentioned. It was because, I mean, I get the whole Oyashi or summer thing, but, like, there was a lot that wasn't mentioned here. It was actually very interesting that because, for example... There was, um, you remember that story about Oisey and the therapist, where she would just kept, she kept remodeling my house about summer. Do you remember in the school, for example, where there were a few kids and she just completely, I think she either gave them serious injuries or murdered them, I don't know, and smashed the windows of her school. But it is very, very interesting that she says, like, her memories are hazy and really fuzzy and she just feels sick even thinking about them. Because you do wonder if potentially... They could maybe not even be her memories. What I'm trying to say is, like, they could be so distant to her, and maybe she could really. Maybe she was just not feeling herself. And when I say that, I mean, like, literally. She was just somehow in a state of mind that was just completely different from that. Okay, it's just really weird, but that probably might. That probably is possible. I don't know. I'm not gonna cry anymore. I'll never cry again. I used to have all of my tears in my night and I fell off at you. Oh, oh, you can't think that. I mean, I mean, I'm going to be real, it's really good and everything, but I just have a feeling if you're setting expectations this high, if something does go bad, it's just going to really hit more, you know? If guys are worried about this, I hope this way, you know, and I was out. So I'm gonna have a happy life from now on. All of a sudden, big raindrops hit the roof of the car, and I woke up in the senses. Um, it was still raining hard. Yeah, it already gotten dark outside. Got to be 
already dark. Third always getting dark outside the shadow of the bedroom lamp. Created with very dark and it looks as if there's nothing else around me. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Sort of, you know, zone out. Wow. Well. I don't know if this line, did everything in this world disappear? Well, the light would. <laughs> yeah. The gold air and the sand went and changed a bit, and that made me realize I was still in this one. Oh, good. I'm just really happy that I. I mean, this is a very strange analogy, but yeah, I suppose it's just really good that she didn't let it sort of overrule her, really. Do the Kessel Boy Essay Design do those crazy things to my family? I wouldn't like to miss myself. It did, and it's an excuse for myself because I didn't want to feel guilty about it. But it was. Sometimes I'm not sure. Oh god, why does she feel guilty about it? Oh god. But I mean, I'm, I'm sort of definitely sort of thinking that it could have potentially been her just sort of latching onto something to blame for um, the, the, the divorce to sort of make it seem, make, for example, the effects of the harsh reality of how much of a shithead, let's put it bluntly, her mother was, just instead of actually facing how much of a shit she was, and sort of, instead of thinking about how much of a pain it was, and sort of used something like, oh yeah, she was on like, I don't know, not really mask the pain, but belittle the pain, really. So it's that time, I was on my husband come to me. Oh! I don't know if it was like, a delusion I created because I was meant to be yeah. But he did come at that time. What? I'm sure about that. Can I write this other time? Weird. Weird. This is pretty good. I mean, I mean, I suppose mental illness could have a... It could definitely have a... Um... I don't know, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta read up on the whole sort of mind illnesses that could have potentially happened because it is, it is actually very interesting. Sort of trying to find out what these people could potentially have and like what actually is happening on in, on, in their mind, uh, what is actually happening with their minds really. だめだ。でな。不幸になったとか考え、私は幸せなんだ。幸せになるんだ。だから。絶対に幸せになれるんだ。絶対に幸せになれるんだ。絶対に幸せになれるんだ。絶対に幸せになれるんだ。絶対に
It's definitely going to affect him, but not God, that much. want to be confused at the moment? Then, my cousin in the middle tells me, you know, if you settle with the other one and make them equally, you can make anyone like you. Yeah. Yeah, did you forget something? Did you forget one? I suppose there are other usually you can find and enemies that you have to forget the one you've got. Oh, you know, I guess so. Me. She's always saying things and makes fun of my eyes. Weird. So she always tells me things that I can't say myself. Let's go home then, to your home. I'm gonna go to me and then I'm gonna go. I was a bit hungry by then. I feel like I was hungry, but I was still not hungry. God. I almost forgot to give myself a bit of a shortcake. I never had a shortcake in the age of life, but it really tastes good. Oh yeah, it, it probably would, but it didn't Katie say, I think it was in one of us, he, he said that the food at Angel Mall, it was actually really not anything that special. So maybe, maybe it's not a good noise. It is very interesting with the whole um, enemy thing and this whole reflection thing though, because this reflection is basically telling Leno thoughts that she would have never really wanted to come back to. And it's just odd that she sort of remembers them every time she looks at her face, because no fucking shit, a reflection can't tell you things like that. It's just really weird. It's very clear how to grow up, but she's just a good person. Hmm. 
That's because he's so big my father. Oh. That's nice. I did everything I can make. I did everything I could to make my father smile, but I failed. I've never had to do my time and get a big smile on his face so easily. Right. Interesting. That's the it. God, I'm so good at grammar. Right, I wonder, I wonder if we're going to get any tips. Well, if we're not going to get tips, then this is... Then that's just weird. <laughs> yeah, we get two. Right, um... Yeah. Don't call me Lena. I'm in the size of the past. Oh, yeah, yeah, because of course, um... Her name's Lena now. She dropped the I from the name. She didn't even like being called her own name, so I suppose that's why. Oh, oh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens the next day. I wonder... Oh, I just really hope nothing's going to change because of, like, the whole memory she has of everything. I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see. It's going to be... I don't really know. Because the thing is, at the moment, we've got a whole bunch of new information. We don't really know what's going to happen next, really. It's kind of the best times when these happen, though, because you don't have cliffhangers, and then you're not sort of getting the cliffhangers pondering on your mind for, like, the entire day. My summer vacation picture diary. Right, it's going to be interesting. I wonder what this is. Oh. Looks like it's before, you know, this shit happened. Today I went to the swimming pool with my mum. Uncle Rocky still came with us, too. I don't like him because he's somewhat mean to me. But he's a very kind and funny old man. Interesting. So she actually thinks, like, when she says she he's sometimes mean, I wonder if that's in, like, a joking way or, like, a genuine way. He told me to put him down for that day because he was going to play me because he was going to play with me at the pool like he was my dad. Oh, no. I'm going to call my dad as well. I did, too. I'm going to ask you to look very happy and gave me a lot of money! What the fuck? Weird. This is just really weird. That's horrible. Oh my god. That's just really disgusting. You can just really see that, like, things like that. It's actually interesting when you think of things like that, though, because you realise that these manipulation things, they've been happening for a long time, and, yeah, like you said about the whole father thing, he's never going to come because they're fucking arseholes. And awful people, these people. God. I mean... Holy shit, though. I, I just really can't believe this. But this is, like... I mean, I get that this is whole sort of metaphorically for an NR, but like for the other people this was just sort of probably I don't know just sort of him proving to Denar that he'd probably be a good dad but without actually doing it like by saying and making it obvious I hate that it doesn't really surprise me that these people are good at sort of manipulation sort of types of stuff I opened the window and placed my cushion nearby and prepared to enjoy the weather. But she came over and disrupted me. Peaceful evening. She? Wait, who? Dana? Hmm. She always realized my time was solitary. She looked pleased. Oh, that's right. You this is weird. 
What? I am so confused. So firstly, Elika, she's speaking in that weird fucking voice that we saw in Himatsubishi. But secondly... What? The girl, loves, the girl loves sweets. This girl loves sweets more than anything. I like them too, but I can't eat like she does. It just gives me a heartburn if I ate them like she ate today. Bro, fair. <laughs> Who doesn't need a heartburn too, to be fair? <laughs> and also, oh my god, I don't know if you guys get the feeling where like the inside of your mouth just feels entirely horrible whenever you eat too much sugar. That's the thing that sort of puts me off eating a lot of sugar. Oh my god, that's just really odd. Interesting that Lika likes sweets as well. Yeah, it's just kind of surprising that like Lika is like so much younger than Nena, and yet she's so much more used to eating sweets. Yeah, this is really interesting because like you would have thought because she's had less exposure to sugar probably, and she's younger. Oh my god, bad diet. <laughs> when the bad diet. She seems to be very happy to leave her alone for a while. Yeah. Oh, wait, so this is Lika's view now. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Which viewpoint is this, I wonder? over the past few days, so she, she needs to be quite pleased today. Or could this be Satoko's point of view? No, it couldn't be. I don't believe that. Either Satoko or Nena, because of the whole cooking related thing, I feel. I think probably Nena, because if you remember in Tatari Goroshi, the Satoko was only like, the only thing she actually had experience in cooking was just sort of microwaving and making a few basic meals, you know, microwaving and using store-bought meals so i kind of get the feeling that it could be Nina because she's actually had experience with cooking it was a very fun day for me too i wanted to do i just wanted to enjoy the memory of excitement yep that's Nina. all right <laughs> i just wanted to enjoy the memory of excitement that i felt today by sitting here quietly enjoying the sunset but when i looked up at the sky i saw some thick clouds forming there the wind was a bit colder than usual ま、大地震や大津波などの知らせとして朝瀬に普段は絶対に見かけることができない深海の魚が現れることがある That's the ocean's story with the sea monsters say. People hate deep sea animals and tend to interpret them as omens of disaster. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they showed up alive or dead. It's worse if they did it dead. Ah, I said something interesting just now. Even if they showed up alive or dead, it was just an omen of disaster. Oh, it might start raining. Or something. Yeah, 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 I know. You are not going to be able to do it. Interesting. I grabbed the basket and went outside to take a look at it. I'm just pretty confused on what the setting is here. Wait, I'm actually gonna try and like see. I'm genuinely curious. So, right. Let me just I think no, let's read all of it and then just read reread read the entirety, sort of see if we can find it out. The clouds are getting darker. I normally like rain, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it today. Mm. Okay, that's it. Right. 
Yeah, no, I kind of don't blame them. <laughs> Fuck rain sometimes. <laughs> rain can be really inconvenient. It's the worst in summer as well, because, you know, muggy. Weather. Ugh. Right, so, um... And it's very interesting, whoever this is, they have ties with Ika. They know about this version of her. And as a result, they probably know about the sort of, you know, normal version of her. Interesting. I mean, I mean, I don't know, it doesn't really... I suppose it could be Lenar, but it also... I think it's more likely Sopical's point of view here. I don't know. There are a few things that don't really add up for the... But, yeah, I just I just say it kind of fits more because of the whole laundry that they did thing. I mean, who else is going to get the laundry? Who else is going to actually live with Decar? Who? But it's just very interesting that, like... She finds this normal, this other voice of Dika. You do kind of wonder what, like, what is actually happening with her. Hmm. Very, very interesting, that. Right, so that's everything I wanted to read today. Holy shit, dude, that was so brilliant. Oh my god. That was so sad about learning about whole Lenar stories and everything. God, it was so interesting as well. And I really do think that it's going to be... It was very interesting learning about Lenar's hideout. It was interesting about, like... I don't know, this is obviously about the whole things before we actually got to just... Just Lenar. Just her point of view. Actually, seeing what happened. Oh, it's just really interesting learning about her past. And it was, I think it was also really funny, just like the whole, you know, club things, After Effects, Katie, stuff like that. God, it's just so interesting. I think, I think it's going to be so interesting the more we learn about Denna and the more interesting it gets. But the only thing is at the moment, I have a feeling that I get that her memories, they're really going to affect her mentally and just obviously sort of, you know really really make everything worse for her but i get the feeling if she continues with the attitude she's continuing on like really sort of appreciative and just dependent and reliable on happy days if she if she can do that if she can become happy for all this time i really get the feeling that it could be a probability that like maybe nothing could like let's just say in the best case scenario nothing happened maybe this could be potentially like a really big step to the future oh god it's actually very very interesting about the whole dinner thing though because it is interesting like when you see firstly in the angel mort thing you see Dinar being like really just not a very nice person when she realizes like the whole um thing about her not being able to get in because she didn't know it was an event and then you see how she pretends to act to dinner and then you put and then you see that apparently she's like she's one of the people that can make her father smile whereas nobody else can like not even her it's just very interesting that god it's gonna be so interesting to play tomorrow i do wonder what we're actually gonna do because yeah i'm clueless <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go now see you guys have a good one